everything in music, you get tools and there are no rules. But what happens is with the loop pedal, because the loop pedal has been the way it's been forever, everyone wants start, stop. They want start, stop on each track. And they're so dialed in on that. And they build these really intricate layers on each one of the tracks. And then that's how they build their arrangements. And they get really tied into the loop pedal that the loop pedal itself closes them off to everyone else. It's the same thing with guitarists and chord tones and scales and vocalists with, with vocal runs and doing shit like that. Like there's so many things in music that are actually shiny objects. And so as a musician, you need to figure out like, well, what is the most important thing? Um, especially if you want to be a good musician, is it connecting with people? It's being creative and making music that connects with people. And typically, like if you are like, I 100% only want to play this kind of music and I don't, I don't give a fuck. And then I'm like, cool, you, you're good. You go do your thing. And like, if that means that not a lot of people are going to connect with you, um, then that's fine. But every single one of them then goes and cries being like, why isn't anyone buying my albums? Why isn't anyone connecting with my music? And it's like, well, because you're making music for you, not for everyone else. And that is like, you're stupid. That's where the dumb shit happens. Now, where the Looper X is OP as shit is because it is reversing and reverse engineering John, uh, Ed Sheeran's like actual loop style. When Ed Sheeran loops, this was like the big fucking light bulb for me when I watched him because I follow all of the loop artists that I, I'm a massive fan of like um, Carl Walkner and a bunch of other guys that are like straight up like, and uh, what's another guy? Um, Bernhoff. Like I froth their shit. Like when they do their stuff, I'm like, oh my fucking God. Like this is, this is like when you hear a Carl Walkner loop, it's like, oh my God. Ugh. But it's also the same level of like passion and love towards that that I listen to is the same level of like, that's how I listen to Guthrie Govan. Now, Guthrie Govan is not going to connect with everyone. And that's the same thing with Carl. It's like, he's not going to connect with everyone. And like a lot of these, and Bernhoff, the same. They, they connect with who they care about connecting with and that's it. And they do what they do extremely well. Now, if your goal is how can I make my loop style as an effect to now connect with as many people as possible, Ed Sheeran, when I watched him live, he is simple. He's like, bro, beat, boom, gone. As fast as he can connect with the audience is as fast uh, is whatever the loop is required. There is no extra shit. It's just like, bam, here you go, let's go. Let's, let's connect. As, as a musician and an audience, I'm going to connect with you as fast as possible. And you know what was the most fucking crazy thing in the world is I'm a, I listened to Carl when he did the demonstration of, of the Looper X and he did it over his original song immediately I had never heard him do that song better than any performance he's ever done. As soon as he like arranged it in the style of the loop of the mute mode on the Looper X, I was hooked in the song so much faster than how he does it with all of his extra layers and does it all with the extra special sounds and getting the right processing and all the effects. Like this, this thing is not designed to make you look fancy. This thing is designed to make you connect as a player and a musician. And my God, everyone who uses this, they instantly sound that way. And like, I only use Carl as an example because he, ha he literally has the AB example. You can go and listen to his, um, uh, uh, his song. Uh, what is it? Shit, I forgot the, hit, the song. He plays it all the time. It's one of his originals. It's really, really cool. Um, he does it with his head rush and then he does it with the Looper X when he did his Looper X demo. And like, I don't know if, Dil I think Dylan and I talked about this before and I was like, dude, it sounds so good. It like sounds so good because musically you're just so on with other people. How does it do that to the RC? Because every other loop pedal runs on start, stop. So you build a track, start, stop. So like, for instance, this one, it's like, so if I'm going to build the track on the Looper X, you know, you would build, you build the track and then you go into this thing called mute mode. You see how there's all the green lights, right? So say I'm going to build a loop, right? I'm going to do like a... And 
and then I'm coming to this. It's just so much better. Like, this is why the Looper X just fucking destroys. Like, you can do this with an RC300. Like, no, actually, I'll rephrase it. You can't. You actually can't. I can't get that level of connection to people. I can't get that level of musicality to people. And on top of that, I can't even get the mix that good with anything other than this. Other than this, there's no other loop pedal in the world that you can do this. The closest thing would be the head rush because the head rush can also give you like multiple outs. So you can mix each one of the tracks individually to make them sound dope. But outside of that, they can't. So you will sound like shit. When I say shit, you won't sound this good. Exactly. So like, like Fluff Mom is like, this Looper X was made by someone who truly understands and loves music. Yes. It was designed by the best musician in the world for looping. Ed Sheeran is the number one loop artist in the world. If anyone wants to fight me, come at me. But that is the fucking truth. He fucking records the best songs. And he is the only person that I have ever seen that has performed with the loop pedal to 20,000 plus people. And he does it every night <laughs> so it's like the guy crushes um and if you want to know how this is actually optimized it is optimized for a digital audio workstation so it's not optimized for like hey i'm gonna plug this into my speaker like my little amp it's not designed for that like if you want that and you are like super basic go get like an rc300 you don't need it you don't get anything fancy just get something basic but this thing is designed so that the bass you can you can EQ the bass how you want to EQ it and make it sound dope. You can EQ the drums how you want to do it and make it sound dope. You can make the guitar sound great. You can make the fill sound great. You get to dial in every single sound and your outputs are completely controlled. And like, it's just so good. You just can't beat this. And like, I've performed with the, I've used the RC300 and followed the stop start system. Like I've done like 500 shows with that thing. Plus way more. So many hours. Like, it, like, if you guys think, like, oh, he's just shitting on it because he doesn't like it. It's like, no, I've used that pedal. And to dial in the tone, I can't even get close to this fucking tone with that thing. Like, I, had, I tried everything. I tried, like, multiple effects units, 
octave pedals, like every single thing I could. And I, and I even had like my beatbox mic. I, I ran a whole, you know, effect chain on my beatbox to try and get the beatbox to work. But then everything had to go into the fucking RC300 unit or the RC600. It has to go into those units and then it still gets fucked because you, you only get two outs usually. Mm-hmm. And like you can't sequence on two outs. They're usually just left and right. And like the best you can do is like put one left, put one right, and then try and like mix it that way. And it's like, dude, this thing sucks. Like that's what happened every single time. And so when this came out, you can even see the stream. I was like, oh my God, this is like, this, this thing has changed the game. It's like the best thing. And like, that's why we got it with the community. But yeah, like for anyone who gets into the Loop Rex, this thing is just so OP. And like, I fucking love it. I want everyone to bag on it and shit on it because I want a bunch of people who don't get it. I want them to sell it because I need to get a second one and I need it cheap. <laughs> so <laughs> the sec- if anyone here hates the Looper X and they want to sell one super cheap to me to help me out, let me know because I will buy. Um, I need a second one uh, and I'll possibly a third one just in case one breaks. 